and welcome to the Dynamic Earth Virtual Lab. Today we are visiting one of the gems of the St. Lawrence County, the Irish Green Outcrop, just near the village of Edwards in the foothills of the Adirondacks. Adirondacks are made up of metamorphic rocks that were formed deep in the Earth's crust, up to some 30 kilometers deep, and they were subjected to tremendous heat and pressure. The rock behind me was exposed during blasting for the road cut. The rock itself is between 1 billion and 1.1 billion years old. Adirondack region is part of a much larger area called the Grenville Province. The Grenville Province is a broad belt of mostly metamorphic rock of middle Proterozoic age. It extends along the western side of the Appalachian Mountains from Labrador to Mexico. Around the Adirondacks and south of the region, this belt is almost entirely covered by younger sedimentary rocks. The Adirondack region was once flat and was covered by the same sedimentary layers that now surround it. However, in relatively recent geologic time, the Adirondack region was uplifted, forming a dome. During uplift, erosion removed the sedimentary layers from the region. This erosion eventually created a window through the sedimentary rocks that permits us to see the much older basement rocks beneath. The southern Grenville province contains important mineral localities that have produced exceptional crystal specimens that now grace exhibits in many natural history and mineral museums, as well as private collections worldwide. Whereas these localities are well known to collectors and mineral enthusiasts, they have received relatively little attention from geologists, despite the potential constraints they offer on the tectonic evolution of the region. These occurrences are characterized by their intrusive nature and abundance of large, well-formed crystals of calc silicate minerals, including peroxines, amphiboles, and scalpelite, and other trace minerals such as albite, apatite, zircon, titanite, K feldspar, quartz, tourmaline, and mica, and various sulfide minerals within a calcite matrix. Weathering leading to dissolution of calcite facilitates the discovery of crystal pockets and the removal of intact calc silicate crystals. This Irish green road cut intersects one of several diopsidic marble units that are interlayered with feldspathic gneisses in this area. An outstanding feature here is a great quantity of green diopside, particularly in the form of large crystals that extend to the veins of coarse grained calcite. Veins appear to be joint fillings by mobilized calcite. Diopside also occurs as granular masses cut by calcite veinlets and clusters of large tabular crystals within granular diopside. Diopside crystals measuring 2 feet and 8 inches in length were found in this cut during road construction in association with coarse crystalline pink calcite, 
chalcopyrite and phlogopite. Crystals measuring several inches in length still occur in abundance, especially at the top middle part of the cut, but they are almost impossible to remove intact. Basal parting, which means fracturing across length, is strongly developed, and any attempt to remove the larger crystals causes them to break along these partings. Calcite occurs mainly in very coarse-grained aggregates with only cleavage faces showing. Most of it is gray-colored in the cut, but just behind the cut, pink to orange calcite is found. Tremolite and phlogopite are abundant in the smaller seams or veins in granular diopside. Tremolite occurs in clots or lenses which seem to replace the diopside host rock, or as clots in calcite phlogopite veinlets resembling knots in a rope. The phlogopite is a copper-toned magnesium mica. Molybdenite crystals in silvery books occur in seams with tremolite, phlogopite, and chalcopyrite. The largest crystal reported from here measured two inches in greatest diameter. Microline feldspar crystals, several inches in diameter, have been found removed from the pit several hundred feet back of the road cut. Crystals are white and stubby and often interpenetrate with coarse diopside crystals. <laughs> 